Hey guys, Jared Chunks, 21 years. So, um, first and foremost, this is a vlog. I'm recording it on Thursday. It's going to go up on tomorrow. Uh, I really wanted to continue the schedule where I do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday being Fallout content, but I've got to get some sleep tonight. I'm just, oh, I'm going to end up going to bed probably... After this episode of the randomized Nuzlocke versus for at Vinny and at Ethan Dobbs because I like them, I like the content. Uh, it's cool. Um, so the new Vegas video will be out Saturday. Um, if everything goes well, I finally got my throat. I got like my throat feeling better and everything, so. Uh, I am sorry, guys, that I've changed the schedule up, but now it's story time, and I really haven't thought of a good story to talk to you guys about, so I'm just going to talk about the different kinds of dogs we've had. Now, most of our dogs I've had uh, have been mutts. What that is is a dog who's not pure breed, um... In my family, we consider mutt is thrown around. Even Roger is considered a mutt, but in my opinion, I don't consider him one. Because we know what he's primarily, which is a pit bull. Um, so, my first dog was Dutch. He was a, a son of one of my, uh, my grandpa's dog, Battles. And he was one of my best friends. He ran away. Uh, but, um, we've never known what happened to him. I was told he ran away as a kid from, I know dad got pissed and shot him when he had to put his dog down. Lucky who got bit by a rabid, um, raccoon. So, the other thing is, we had another older dog that we had for a long time called Domino, and the reason we called it that, her that, is when she was a puppy. She was again another, uh, uh, puppy of my grandpa's dog battles, and she's the most loving dog. Like, I mean, she, gosh, she wasn't abused, but she wasn't let in in the Indiana winter. Sorry about that, guys. I'm moving my legs around, and it's not working that well. So, she was abused, and not really. She, we took good care of her, we bedded down, we warmed up her dog pit, uh, her doghouse gave her fresh heat and water, all of that nice stuff, but straw down, we just didn't bring her inside the house in the winter time. <laughs> but she was perfectly well warmed and insulated. Uh, so, but she was the most loving dog ever. She also could jump really tall. Uh, she's also our tallest dog. It's put her probably two, three feet tall. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure how tall she was, but she was, uh, we called her that because she was black and white. She had black, and when we got her as a puppy, she was so small you could pick her up, and her fun fur was all black except three little dots right here on her chest and two down here on her stomach. And, uh, as she grew up, those kind of melded together into one big, gigantic white spot. Um, after that we got our, we got my dad's dog, Zen, which was always an outside dog. It was a black cocker spaniel, which I did not like. She was a shelter dog. Uh, she died really soon after we got her, but she hated my guts. Uh, we got dog, uh, we got Skeeter. You guys never got to see Skeeter. Um, he was our little skipper keep dog that we, I loved him to death. He is my baby boy, even though he bit me quite a bit. Because I got scared and everything like that, but he was my baby boy. Uh, we had Foxy, which she was just the sweetest little skipper key. She ran off pit bulls, uh, dogs way bigger than her, and she was protective of her family. She died in Tennessee of a heat stroke uh, after my sister's uh, ex fiance left her out in the heat without any water. Jackass. Uh, Skeeter died four days after I turned 20. I was taking him and Chloe to the vet. I got into an accident and he ended up having a seizure and died um, after they got him out of the car, which is sad. 
He's my baby boy. Uh, so now we've got Chloe and Roger. And I love Roger to death. He's he's a handful, but I love him to death. As for Chloe, um, with the way it is, I don't know how long she's going to be around. She's got a broken hip, completely dislocated hip. Um, so she is, she's in a lot of pain all the time. We give her pain medicine. Um, but she's become, she started to get more and more aggressive. We gave her, uh, Trazodone to calm her down because she'd go after Roger for everything. She'd go after Vicky for everything. She'd go after me for everything. She'd even go after Mom, which is new, and, uh... Uh, we were seriously considering putting her down because of this, because of the behavior. Um, so we got her on Trazodone, and we're hoping that works. But ultimately, it's no telling. And after Chloe, we probably won't get another dog. Mostly because my mom is allergic to dogs, and she doesn't like dogs. Uh, we got her to get Roger only because I was a big pain in the ass. I would always fight with Dad for Chloe because I wanted a dog in my room. I wanted to have that animal sleeping next to me. And it ended up not going well. So, uh, we got Roger and he's going to be around for a while, hopefully. If he keeps messing up, he probably won't be. But, uh, those are my dogs. Um... We've also had several cats. Um, my most notable cat that I actually picked out, he was my cat. He ended up liking Gabby, uh, my sister, a lot more, but he said he loved everyone. He, uh, we called him Napoleon. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. I don't actually have it around, do I? I don't think I do. It's called Napoleon. It's about a little dog who gets stuck in a hot air balloon. It was a VHS tape me and my sister loved as kids. We named him that. Well, by the time we got rid of him, actually, I think my sister kept him, and he only recently, he died, I think, a year or two ago, which is surprising because he was overweight. He, uh, he was as fat as Garfield. Yes, he, he was fat. He was fat. And lazy. We used to joke that he wouldn't catch mice unless they were actually eating his food. And even then we realized, no, he probably wouldn't catch the mouse. He'd just be like, fuck it, let the mouse eat it. I'll get more. So, um, we've also had uh, lizards, snakes, mostly mine, because I love reptiles. And then we have... Our oldest pet that's still alive, he's over there. You can always hear him in the background. It's that water noise. That is Jappy. Uh, I got him when I was five years old. He is a red-eared slider. Uh, we bought him before we knew that it was illegal to own him. And at this point, he's been in. He, he's been my pet forever. And, you know, if someone wants to come and try to take it from me, uh, you better be ready to catch these hands. Because he's my baby. He's like my brother. He's been with me forever. Um, so he gets he gets pretty much a lot better treatment than any other animal. You know, I make sure that he gets treated well. If I'm gone for any extended period of time, and I can't trust someone to take care of him, I uh, I take him with me. So it, it, he is my baby. And he is my little. He is my best friend. So. We also had over a hundred chinchillas because my dad ran a company. Um, I actually, hmm, that might be the topic for another vlog. If you guys want to hear about that business, uh, actually, I am gonna make that into another vlog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that into what a Tuesday vlog. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. It's going to be Tuesday's vlog. Anyways, so... That's what I wanted this video to be about. was just talking about the different pets we've had. Um... And all of that nice stuff. If you guys like these videos... I know I changed up the scheduling, but uh, stuff came up. Uh, if you guys like these videos, make sure you leave a like. To, leave a like. If you dislike, then leave a dislike. If you want to tell me I look like a horse's ass, well... Tell me in the comment section. 
I only censor really bad comments. As for the rest of you guys, I thank you guys for your continued support. I thank you guys for all of your help. Um, at MDOVA1, at Attack on Yarn, I thank both of you. And make sure you share the video around. I, I mean, it's a really good video. I think. See you guys next time.